Here are nine things I wish I would have bought sooner. I've been saving these up for this video. These are so good. I am not exaggerating. Just wait till you see some of the items. We're gonna be all over the board here in different categories. I'm even saving a designer bag for the end. There's some home stuff, closet, beauty things. Everything will be linked down below. Okay, first up we have something that I have shared before. Everything else in the video I've never talked about, but this first item, if you remember, it was in my obsessions video. It was not sponsored. Now it is, it's the Naywai seamless bras and underwear. Like I'm truly obsessed with these and I'm just so excited to be teaming up with them. So thank you for sponsoring this video because I now have a promo code. It's Shay20 for 20% off everything. And I will have them linked down below. Hear me out on why I wish I would have bought these sooner. It's all I wear now. I literally have thrown out my other underwear and bras, not everything, but pretty much everything. First up, what I fell in love with a long time ago was their classic wireless, barely zero bra and underwear. So this is interesting because it's basically one size fits most. It's like A to double D. And it has like a patent pending fabric that is crazy stretchy. And you can get this in so many colors. It's just so comfortable, guys. It's so comfortable. It's so seamless. It's just all I, it's all I wanna wear. Truly, it's all I wanna wear and reach for. I also have their underwear, again, super seamless. You can get it in different styles, different colors, different bundles. Now, they recently launched something that now I'm just like, maybe I like this more. I don't know, it all kinda just depends on what you're looking for. So this is their Barely Zero Fixed Cup wavy bra. So as you can see, the neckline is kind of wavy, like a scalloped material. The uh, strap is more skinny, like a bra strap, and it's adjustable. And then the kicker is it's a fixed cup, which basically that means the cup is not going anywhere. There's no removable cups, which some people prefer, some people might not like, it's up to you. But sometimes the removable pads, although they can be convenient, they can get kind of twisted and kind of annoying. So this is a really great option. Again, tons of colors. And then for those of you that just want a lot more support, they also launched the Barely Zero Fixed Cup Clasp Bra. So this just gives you a lot more support with the clasps in the back and there's different, you know, tighten, tightness levels that you can use. And then also again, it's fixed cups, so there's no removable cups. But again, super seamless, so comfortable. One of my favorite features of the Barely Zero line is the fact that it just stretches to fit you. So you can gain weight, you can lose weight, and it will still work, it will still fit you. I also wanted to point out their leggings and their biker shorts because those are also really, really comfortable as well. Um, I'm very, very particular about my leggings. In fact, a lot of leggings I think are just not comfortable. These are very stretchy, the material's very high quality, and they're the thinnest leggings I think I've ever tried. And that might sound bad, but no, like they're so smooth. You can probably see that in the B-roll. They're thin and smooth and you don't see through them at all. So anyway, I have been wearing them around the house. I just, yeah, they're, they're very, very comfortable. So again, I will have everything linked down below. My code is SHAY20 for 20% off everything. This next thing is genius. It is a two-in-one toaster oven. <laughs> I have been searching for something like this forever. And maybe you guys are well aware that this has existed. My friend actually came to our house and was like, hey, you have the Ninja 2-in-1 foodie. And I'm like, what? Like I had no idea this was a thing, but I was so proud of myself when I discovered it. And it's phenomenal. So I actually have a pretty small kitchen. I love our house, but it's like, our kitchen is in the center of the house. So I cannot like remodel our kitchen and make it bigger. I just can't. We don't have that much counter space. And I've always wanted a toaster oven because you know, I use the microwave, but like, let's be real, sometimes if you're heating up a piece of pizza or whatever, it's like leaves it soggy, it's like kind of gross. So I've always wanted a toaster oven, but they are massive, okay? These things are massive. So this is a toaster, like a regular toaster. You can toast toast, bagels, like Texas thick toast. And then if you want it to be an oven, all you do is literally flip it down and it instantly turns into a toaster oven. It is phenomenal. And this is not that big. Like this serves two purposes and it doesn't take up that much counter space. I'm telling you all the other toaster ovens out there are just ginormous and this one is not. Um, so I will reheat pizza. I'll make snacks for the kids in it. I have my breakfast bars that I love making super warm and hot. And then when I'm done, I can just flip it up and it's a toaster again. It is phenomenal. And I think it's on sale right now. I got it on sale. So again, I will link it below. If it's not, I'm sorry, but it is great. Oh, just wait till the, you see this next item, guys. I searched for this. I was like, there has to be 
an easier way to put on a freaking duvet cover, okay? So I got on the internet, I started searching, and nothing on Amazon, nothing on the classic places that I, that I search. Uh, finally, I found Bedly and I wish I would have bought this sooner. I wish I would have discovered this sooner. I, I think you guys are gonna love this. So if you struggle with putting on your stupid duvet covers, I know there's all those hacks and those tricks, but it's still annoying. You have to like roll it up, do this whole burrito trick. Like it's ridiculous. Um, so a duvet cover, by the way, is, is, is what covers your comforter. So you don't have to wash the comforter. You can't really wash comforters, but you can take the cover off and wash that. So anyway, duvet covers are great, but also incredibly annoying. So I found this one from Bedly that is a complete like three-sided zipper duvet cover. So what you do is you lay it on your bed and it zips all the way around on three sides. And all you do is simply lay your comforter on top, tie it in the four corners like normal, and then you just zip it the whole way around. Oh my goodness. Does it make my life easier and I wish I would have bought it sooner. You're welcome. This is so random, but I wish I would have bought a blood type test sooner, okay? Just for my kids. I know that I am A positive. I know Josh is O positive, but I had no idea what my kids were until two weeks ago when I tested them myself because my hospital doesn't actually test babies anymore unless the mother is like negative blood. Uh, a lot of hospitals still do. I think it also depends on what state you're in, um, but I actually requested that my hospital you know, tested my babies and they were like, no, you have positive blood, so we're not going to. I ordered these simple tests from Amazon and they were super cheap. I think it's just good, important information to know, like whether it's for yourself or for your kids, it's just something you should know. Also, there are many, many statistics out there. You can just even just do a quick Google search that O positive blood actually has fewer disease rates than like A type. So I was like really crossing my fingers that my kids were all O like Josh. Um, but anyway, I ordered these. It's, it doesn't hurt. It's just like a quick prick on your finger. You put four drops of blood on these like circles. It's so simple. And then based on the pattern that the blood kind of, it looks, here's, you're probably seeing what it looks, it looks worse than it is, but I'm telling you, it's not bad at all. My kids are seven and nine and they were fine. But it gives a pattern and then you can easily immediately tell what type of blood they have. So I think this is so inexpensive and just really good information to kind of know about yourself or your family. Next we have the K18 leave-in hair mask. And this actually kind of reminds me of Olaplex. And yes, I still love Olaplex. I mean, I've been recommending that for over two years now and it's really good for damaged hair. And but so is this. And I think that the reason I wish I would have bought this sooner is because it kind of gives an Olaplex effect but with less steps. So it's called K18 because I think that's a peptide and it literally goes into the inner core of your hair shaft and it actually works to repair your hair. So it even says the worse your hair is, like the more damaged it is, the better immediate effect you'll see. Um, so I have noticed a huge difference with my hair. I don't even remember the last time I've cut my hair uh, and it's just still looking really, really good. And I think this is the difference. So it is pretty pricey, it's like 75 bucks. I think it's worth it though. Um, and so all you do is actually don't condition your hair in the shower. You get out, you know, you towel dry your hair and then you use, you start with one pump and you really focus it on the bottoms of your your hair because that's where the most damage is. And then you can obviously bring it up more towards the top and you let it sit for four minutes. Like you don't style it for four minutes so it can kind of work. And then you can proceed with like blow drying your hair, air drying, whatever. But oh my goodness, I really, really like this and I wish I would have bought it sooner. Next we have mascara. Now this is what's weird about my job. You know, here are my favorite mascaras. I've you know, repurchase them over and over again. We've got Laura Mercier, we've got Tarte, we've got Gucci, I've got a Givenchy one. I mean, these are just my go-to mascaras. But then Tarte released this new mascara like three months ago and it's a tubing mascara. And it's, it just knocks all of these out of the park. I mean, really it does. And that's what I just like, it's sometimes it's weird for me cause I'm like, well, these were my favorite, but now I'm obsessed with this. I've repurchased this myself. I literally like drove out to Ulta last week. and was like, I need to get more. This is interesting because as I mentioned, it's a tubing mascara. So it literally kind of puts, it puts like tubes around all of your eyelashes so that it looks 
longer. It almost looks like you're wearing false lashes, but in a really good way. It's not clumpy. Um, it doesn't smear or smudge. Like you could cry and it's not going to, you know, smear. Um, also, here's just a clip of kind of like one, like one side versus the other. And this is just one coat on the left side. It's another Tarte mascara. This is my old favorite Tarte mascara. It's the Lights Camera Lashes. And I think it's really good, but it doesn't even compare to the tubing, which again, that's one coat and it's just a huge difference for me. So um, yes, there's a lot of good mascaras out there, but to me, this is the best of the best. Another beauty product I wish I would have bought sooner, tried sooner is the Charlotte Tilbury Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer, but it's a cream bronzer. And I have so many bronzers. I didn't feel like I needed this, but it just kept getting more hyped up. The reviews were so good. So I ended up ordering it and now I'm hooked. It is so blendable. Like this cream is just like the coolest formula. I mean, I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you can tell, it's just like a very easy buildable bronzer too. So you can go really light. I just use a brush and I just swirl it in. And it's also a body bronzer too. So you can do it and like kind of like contour different parts of your body if you want it to kind of like be all like sun kissed, if, you know, it's just options. But I really only use it on my face and it's all I reach for now. Next we have these glass cleaning cloths. Which I think they're called the E-cloth. Um, but the clip you're seeing here, it comes in like a pack of five. This was like brand new when I first got them. Obviously now they're a little more like wrinkled and used, but they serve a lot of purposes. Like they kill like 99.9% .9 of all bacteria and you can just use water. Um, and I think it has to do with the, the ions or I don't even know the science behind it, but there's something that this just kills all the bacteria. Um, and then you just wash it and reuse it over and over again. But that's not even the main reason I love it. I love it for my darn mirrors and windows. I cannot stand the streakiness and I don't know why I struggle. Like I'll even buy like streak free glass cleaner and I still get streaks. It's horrible. This though is a game changer and they're so inexpensive. You just wet the mirror or the window with water and then clean it up with this and it's completely streak free. I mean like so simple, so streak free. It is phenomenal. Um, I've got my kids hooked on it. They do it, they do the windows for me, they do the mirrors for me and it always looks perfect. Next, we have a Chanel handbag that I wish I would have bought sooner. So here and there on my channel, I will share some luxury items. And for those of you that you know are newer to my channel, back in 2016, when I first started YouTube, I shared luxury handbags. Like that was the, my niche. Um, and then, you know, as time went on, I just, I don't know, I just love buying like affordable clothes and like just, you know, I just love mixing high end with low end. And I really only buy luxury items when I love something. So it's just not as often as it used to be. But anyway, I purchased this recently. Here's the box and you know, here's, you're seeing the dust bag here. I'm pulling out the bag to reveal to you that I bought a Chanel classic flap bag in the small size. It's a beautiful bubblegum pink color, kind of like a Barbie pink. I was very specific on, you know, what pink I wanted and it is in the caviar leather. And I just wish I would have bought this sooner for a couple reasons. Number one, I mean, the price in general, you know, this bag a couple years ago was like thousands less. Chanel flat bags just really go up in value every single year. And so that's why I do think sometimes these can be decent investments if you hold on to it. So I also wish I would have bought this sooner because it's in the small size, which I have a few Chanel jumbo bags already that I love, but I do think this is kind of like a better, more well-rounded size because of it being lighter. It's a little bit more wearable and there's actually three different ways you can wear it on your body. So the chain can kind of be manipulated and I don't know, it's just like really, really easy to wear. And I just love the color too. All of my other bags that are Chanel are a lot more neutral, like blacks and beiges. And I just really wanted something that was a lot more vibrant and a, just a, a more pop of, of a color. So I'm loving this. I just love it to pieces. Um, and I've been really, really happy with it. So those are nine things I wish I would have bought sooner. So don't forget about Naywy and that promo code SHAY20 for 20% off everything um, out of, the whole video, I feel like that's my most favorite thing because I'm literally wearing their pieces every single day in some way or fashion. Um, so again, everything will be linked down below, but give this video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you're new and I will see you very soon.